Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 7. Uh, we got some fun stuff today. Uh, we are getting closer and closer to getting into bigger reactors, but we need a really steady flow of coal. Um, now, we could use charcoal, you know, set up a tree farm, but I don't really want to do that. So we're doing something a little bit different here. Uh, if we take some dirt nests here and put some treats in, uh, we can spawn in some ashy my oh, ashy mining bees uh, and these guys will allow us to get the nomad bee in because if we go to the coal bees here we need a blazing bee and a leaf cutter bee now we have the leaf cutter but we don't have the blazing bee and the blazing bee is from a magmatic bee and a nomad bee and the nomad bee uh, only goes into the nest of an ashy mining bee so we have to go ahead and set, set this bad boy up here pretty good so we're going to go ahead, we're going to need quite a bit of the combs. I don't have any of the extra honeycombs laying around. Uh, but the cool thing is all we got to do is just do this and we can start doing it good. Okay, so we've got quite a few already. I'm going to let that go for a bit. Uh, this will be automated. It'll be great. We won't have to touch it. We won't have to do anything and we'll get a bunch more. But yeah, pretty neat. All right, but we can get the ball rolling here just a little bit. I do have... 12 of these guys so yeah there is a cool down but if we add more as you can see it takes time away uh, so we just kind of have this row going so we're gonna let these guys grow for a bit which is very good uh, that door didn't work right uh, but yeah I uh, haven't gotten any more of these yet I've only been AFK for a little bit here uh, ooh this is at four ooh that's at three uh, should make sure that these are all full and maybe e even convert some of these to the advanced ones. So maybe it's easier. Maybe I get both. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so we out here just, you know, uh, vibing. Uh, there were a bunch of ashy mining bees in here, but we put some flowers down. And so they're kind of jumping in and out of the, the, the hives here. Uh, yeah. It says nest is empty. Okay. So the ones that say it's empty more than likely has an ashy mining bee because I've been collecting all of the ones that don't, that aren't ashy mining bees. We're getting quite a few of them, which is nice. So we'll, like, we'll be able to give these to the other people on the server, which will be cool. But we're waiting because I guess there's a 10% chance of getting our nomad bee when they pop out of the, uh, the nest. So yeah, we'll be waiting here for a little bit of time. Let's see. Let's just do it. All right, and boop. No? Nothing? What? That? Oh, there he is. Ashy Mining Bee. They're coming out. Got a couple more. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Oh, we got our Nomad Bee. Perfect. There it is. That's exactly what we need. Bam. All right. That's all we needed from that whole system. Cool. All righty. So now we can go ahead and make one out of nether brick really cool quickly because we need a coal bee we're getting ready for the stuff so there we go so we have the nomad bee we just need the magmatic bee which is this here what is that iron sword that's interesting iron sword um do i have any nether brick i do cool i'm gonna try the whole method in the nether like we did before uh where Cool. So we got three. I'm just going to use the treats in the nether in our little bee area, room bob thing. So we'll see how that works. Okay. So let's see. Does it work like this? <sighs> it does. There we go. Okay. So we'll just wait here for about, I don't know. Eight minutes, something like that. I don't know the quick math in my head. But anyway, we'll be here for a little while. All right. So we're about to get our first guy to pop out here. Bam. There's our magmatic bee. Super duper cool. That means we got the nomad and the magmatic bee. Everything that we need. I'll just let those guys kind of fly around in there when they spawn. But good. Very good. That means we can put these guys in their 
in the little chamber. Ooh, I just realized that's a cactus. And I'm almost out of uh, jetpack power. Fill it up for me. Be me up, Scotty. All right, so let's go ahead and we will collect. Oh, I got another radioactive bee. I forgot about him. All right. So the magmatic bee and the nomad bee. I forgot. You're really tiny. Uh, we're going to have to wait for that guy to grow up. I have made a mistake. Uh, if we give him some food. Wow, that is really trippy. If we give him some flowers. Do we have any bone meal? We got... All right, so I went to the nether and grabbed a whole bunch of these bone blocks so that we could turn them into bone meal and then hit this a couple of times. So convenient. We can just go to the nether now and get that. Very cool. Okay. <clears throat> so we have over a stack of flowers. Oops. All right, my guest, yeah, look at that. He grew very quickly, though we're out of, we are out of rose. Okay, perfect. So now, whoop. all right, magmatic bee, nomad bee. And co we got a blazing bee. That's right. That's the one we needed. Okay. So blazing bee. Yeah, we're going to need to help that guy grow up a bit. And then we're going to grab a leaf cutter bee. And we'll be off to the races. All right. So check it out. We have our blazing bee here all grown up. Leaf cutter bee now. So bam and bam. This should give us a coal bee. There we go. Where'd he go? Cotton Eye Joe. There he is. Colby. We got him. Very cool. There's our Colby. Oh, yes. So we're going to go ahead and start breeding these guys up a bit more. Um, it'll be great. Once I get a second Colby, we'll be able to really get the numbers up. All right. So our little Colby is in there. Uh, he's just He's just chilling. He's really, really small, like smaller than the other baby bees. So I wonder if he's not going to be too big. But yeah, here's the, the beehive that he'll be going into. So I want to go ahead and set up a system here. Um, oh, is he in the beehive? Did he fly back in? He did. Perfect. Okay. Um, weather tolerance? None. He has no weather tolerance at all. Oof. Cool. Anyway. Uh, yes, I want to go ahead and set, the, set up a system so that we will automatically turn... The honeycombs into um, honeycombs into coal and then into graphite for now, like a temporary, a super duper temporary system. But check out, we can make a sulfur bee. We can even make a steel bee. So sulfur is going to be very useful for. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought we could. I thought that was an important thing for applied energistics, but it's not. So steel really is the useful one here. Um, yeah, steel grit, and then look at all the steel things we can make, especially for immersive engineering, because we're going to be using a lot of stuff from immersive engineering, just because it's really cool, um, and it's going to give our, it's going to give a really good atmosphere around, so that's why we're going to be using a lot of steel. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, but we need to go ahead and grab some stuff, like a, what is that called? Let's look at productive bees. Here we go. Yes, centrifuge, and then a honey generator, and then a bottler. Perfect. Okay. We also need some item pipes. And we're going to grab some fluid pipes and some power pipes. Perfect. Okay, very cool. So, um, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and, like, like on the outside, we're going to have this set up. We need that that guy here. Cool. We grab the wrench. Bam. So, oh, he's actually already producing combs. I did not realize he would do that. Very cool. Um, so that's going to produce that. We're going to put the honey generator right next to it. And the bottler. Um... 
Hmm. Put the butler on top, maybe. Let's let's see. We're gonna take a little bit of some honey. I may have produced all of it. Okay, I think that one just triggered as after I I grabbed it. Which is crazy to think about. The cool thing is, too, is I believe if I look at some of the advanced oak beehives, we we have the ability for that. Um, I'm not going to harvest it myself. Nope. Just kidding. Okay. So if we come here. Yes. Where, where did that put it? Uh, uh, hmm. Well, let's try this instead. That's interesting. It produces normal honeycombs. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so this will get things moving, and we will see. So this is going to be producing honey. Can that go? Yes. Yes, it can. It can go directly to the top. Beautiful. Okay, so then we put this here, and so it'll produce a few times, and it'll do one of those and get put back in, and then we could run this here and this here, and bam, bam. We do that, and then we do this. Cool. So now it should be recycling this bottle whenever it gets filled. We are out of combs, though. And we already got two coal. That is going to be a lot easier than I thought. That's very good. I think we can only... Yeah, this just goes into honey and wax. So this is perfect for us to keep, keep things moving. Yeah, so it's recycling that. Perfect. <coughs> it is beautiful. Okay, so the bee's doing his thing. Getting us some coal, perfect. Yeah, we're, we we got we, we got some good stuff going on here. All right, so now we just need to pull the items out. However, um, we need a drawer. We need a drawer with a void upgrade. Um, very important. We'll also just do a diamond one as well. Uh, this will be for the wax. And then we're going to grab a drawer. Oh, that's a two by two. Let's just make a drawer then. Okay. So we're going to set up this drawer right here. We're just one away. Well, we can actually put this one closer. Uh, that way it's a bit more efficient. So then void upgrade, space upgrade, wax. And then we lock it. And so there we go. That will pull out only the wax if we do that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so now we need... Can... Okay, we need to look at the uses for coal. Ooh, engineer's decor brought back the furnace that we need. Beautiful. Okay, I've been waiting for this. The small... Yes. Perfect. Oh... This little thing, I need to make a hammer from Immersive Engineering. Oh, that's string. I think I actually have one. Hang on. I do. Now we can make some iron plates. Do I have any iron in here still? Okay, I do. Good. Okay, and then... Why did I just take damage? Anyone else see that? Did I? Did it feel like I just took? I think I just took damage. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Okay. So then we need a conveyor belt. I'll be back. All right. I totally didn't just go murder a bunch of kangaroos. You can't. You can't prove it. Um. <laughs> so very cool all right so we have the conveyor belt now all we need is just a low voltage little guy cool we got a lot of those because I, I i found a mesa and i just went vein mining there for a while which was great okay 
So take on me. There we go. Small electric furnace. It's exactly what we wanted, what everyone wants, because it's beautiful. We don't have to we have to we can get rid of that stupid electric blasting furnace. Okay. So now if we do this and we do this. Uh, maybe this. Oh, maybe we pull power out of here. Let's do it one further away. Because I want it to prioritize putting the wax in. And I don't feel like it's doing that if it's, if it's that close. Because it has to, like, it'll check this first and then this. So it'll try to put the wax in here. Uh, well, we'll have to see. Um, I'm pretty sure the top is the power tap. Are we just not able to pull power? Got power. What if we just put it right next to it? Will this work? Say if we do this. No. Oh, there goes that. Dang it. <laughs> Welp. Shoot. Okay, so underneath we don't have a special thing. Um, I think, yeah, power should be on top. That should be right. But it's not right. <clears throat> we don't have any power generated in here yet. We do have a bit of honey. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and process up some more of the honey. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna get some low voltage, uh, some of these guys, and then we're also, I believe if we do this, yeah, we can get some relays, and then get some LV, oop, low voltage cable here. Uh, do we have it? Yes. That should be enough. Okay, so we're gonna try this method. I'm um, seeing if it's like a power cable issue or something else. I don't know. Ah, frick. <clears throat> Ate another bottle. Okay, so let's try this out. We're going to do um, like this. So the relay will be here. Do low voltage, low voltage. And then we'll connect it. Bam. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it is working. So it does seem to be an issue with um, the cabling. So good thing is we can still use this. It'll be working just fine. Uh, we got a little bit of honey in here. It's still, ooh, we're full there. So now it should be good to go. Now I'm going to put this in here just because, uh, you know, it's, it's wax and, you know, it's not very expensive for us. But plus it's, it's making us a lot of honey, which is exactly what we need to run this farm. Oh, man, I am excited, and it's also running this guy. Perfect. Okay, so we need one more drawer. I forgot to make this until just now. I remembered. Okay, so we place this guy here, and then we do this. And, yep, there we go. We have our graphite ingots are 100% automated. This should be running off of itself very shortly. However, I do need to sleep so that the bees can be productive again. We also need to do some breeding. Oh, man. <clears throat> we got a lot of stuff to do, but I need to max those guys out. We need five coal bees in there to get, you know, optimum coal edge and graphite edge. But now we have uranium semi-automated. Now, we probably do something very similar. Uh, and then we have graphite 100% automated, which means... Which means that the reactor control rods, all of this stuff, I'll just go AFK for a while, and we'll be able to to build it. Yeah, look at that. We have we have iron automated. We have graphite automated. Uh, the only thing we don't have really automated just yet is iron, which we can very easily automate. Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, real quick, before we go, I want to go ahead. 
we need to do a little bit more breeding. Um, and then, you know, like it won't take very long to max it out. But yeah, these guys should definitely be good to go for another Colby. Colby number two. Come here. Little stinker. Yeah, we got him. Beautiful. There it is. No, Colby. Yeah, he's like, oh, look, there's coal in here. I love coal. Yes, you do. You sure do love that coal. And you keep loving it because it's going to be your friend. Oh, yes. Perfect. Now, we can probably even max it up to the tier two just to make sure. We're, yeah, we got plenty. Or look at that. Maxed out on, on energy. Oh, man. Graphite has been automated. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Next episode, guys, we are going to be getting into bigger reactors. I cannot wait. We're going to be generating a lot of power. But graphite has been automated. Technically, coal is automated. So the thumbnail and title aren't a lie. I'm telling you, Cole's automated. I promise. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye, and happy Friday.